Okay, so really quick before we get into this video, there's currently a Masked Man plushie campaign out and it's only going to be available for a short amount of time. So make sure you go down in the link in the description below or in the top pinned comment and make sure that you get one for yourself. Uh, it'd be really cool if y'all would support the campaign. It would mean a lot to me and thank you all to those that have supported the channel so far. But now we can get into the video. I'm a little bit anxious in terms of the reception of this video, but people get that mad over my opinion about an anime or manga then so be it so i might as well as get it out of the way now out of the big three one piece naruto and bleach bleach is now my number one out of those three and it has by far been one of my favorite experiences reading manga from start to finish i did take my time with it at certain points since it is quite the long series but i really did enjoy bleach despite what a lot of people were telling me from start to finish and i kind of want to get into that now so, on surface level aspects, Bleach by far has some of my favorite artwork in manga and some of my favorite character designs easily. And I think it really does play into the factor of some of the hype moments and some of the cool moments within the series. Because Kubo is an absolute genius when it comes to designing his characters. And he's really heavy on the black tones on the characters, but I think it contrasts beautifully with a lot of the white tones and empty backgrounds he tends to have. So from an art standpoint alone, I was loving Bleach's art style and the way he kind of even evolves as an artist as the series goes on. Now, Bleach as a whole is quite interesting as a series, and I'm gonna be a bit all over the place in this video, so forgive me, but one thing I wanna get out of the way is the way the fights go about. Kubo has great paneling. And it's really interesting because I think Bleach as a series during its fights many times can be a bit exposition heavy and a little too spoon feedy to the audience. But I think that's done in order to keep the pacing of the fights going along. Uh, unlike JoJo's where I think the majority of the fight is figuring out what the stand does, the characters most of the time just outright tell you. And it's a really weird contrast considering how Bleach when it comes to its thematics and the way that it develops its characters, it tries to be very subtle. And I think it's beautiful because it has led to some of my favorite little plot twists and character reveals in, in, in almost anything that I've read. Especially in the later half in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, it ended up actually being my favorite arc in the entire series because my mind was just blown non-stop throughout reading all of it. But I'll get a little more into that later. I think some of my favorite characters throughout the series, of course Ichigo's in there, I love Byakuya, I love Ulkiora, Grimjow's really cool, Aizen's really dope, Yuha's really cool, um, but I think my favorite character in the entire series, my number one, is Kenpachi. I thought when I read Soul Society, that was going to be his peak as a character, and I was so wrong, it's not even funny. Like, those who know, know. Like, Kenpachi just... Oh, man. So Bleach has a really interesting way of kind of tackling things. A again, especially with its plot that I absolutely love. There's a mystery to Ichigo as a character and his origin that's built up from the very beginning. And it's one of those things that I appreciate Kubo not entirely spoon-feeding it to us as the series goes on. However, I can definitely understand where a lot of the criticism might come from in Bleach, as I think these things being so subtle can many times get lost in the mix in such a long-running series. But me being someone who kind of visited the past things to make sure I was remembering stuff, I mean, I was I was very, very happy with it. And so once again, with that being said, there's mysteries to some of these characters, especially the one regarding Ichigo, Kenpachi, I think there's a few things that are done with Aizen. Like, they're all really subtle, and yet they all play into eventually big moments in the latter half of Bleach. Now, when it comes to Ichigo as a character, I can understand where people might come from when they call him boring. However, I don't think being boring in and of itself is entirely a criticism, because these are the same people at times who will always crap on quote-unquote the prototypical cliche protagonist, which in other words, they just mean anybody who's anything like Naruto, but yet then Ichigo's a problem? I really enjoyed his laid-back personality and his simple goal of wanting to protect his loved ones and friends, which isn't the most unique goal, I understand that. But again, it's not the grandiose goal that everyone always mocks these other quote-unquote cliche shonen protagonists for having. And I think part of that is really expanded upon within Fullbring. I will admit, maybe not to the extent I would have liked, but we really get to see where Ichigo's, like, passion lies and what could possibly break him as a person, uh, as we end up seeing once Tsukishima arrives. By the way, Ginjo is another character who's one of my favorites, dope design as well. But what we see from Ichigo, for me, is plenty satisfying. We get hints of his nature throughout the different arcs, and then it all beautifully comes together in the final arc, and I really, really enjoy that. Um, I also should have said this at the beginning, but I'm gonna get out of the way now. 
the females in Bleach look amazing. Like I, I man, my favorite personally is Tier Harabel, but like Yoroichi, Orihime, like they're they're all beautiful, all queens. They all got it. Um, but no, yeah, I really enjoyed Ichigo and everything done with him and how that was built up. And I also enjoy the other members of the cast. I think side characters should be side characters. And personally, this is just me speaking from the manga. I know there's a lot of dislike against Orihime. Personally, I thought she was just fine in the manga. I thought when she was needed, um, she was there. And it, sure, she doesn't do all too much, maybe, as m maybe people might be wanting from her. But I enjoy her being with Ichigo. If your reasoning for hating on Bleach is because Ichigo and Rukia didn't end up together, you need help. Because that's clearly not what Kubo wanted. There are so many different incredible fights in Bleach and so many dope moments. And some of my favorite moments in all of Shonen come from Bleach. It's just, it's hard for me to see where all this slander for it comes from. Now, this is going to be a bit of an unpopular opinion. I would really could care less. But this notion that Bleach falls off after Soul Society, for me, is like borderline idiotic now if for you soul society is the best arc in bleach kudos fine for me it's lightning in a bottle it's the first time we see the formula that kubo uh, when it comes to the way he structures his arcs is shown that's fine and then i can understand maybe for you a Ronkar saga not being as intriguing because it's a very similar formula totally get that um and in fact there if there is a criticism i would point out in bleach other than it being a little spoon feedy in its fights although i do think it's necessary to keep the pacing going is that bleach can feel a little formulaic and its overall structure with its arcs but you see that broken up a little bit at the beginning of full bring but then it falls right back into it but then in thousand year blood war arc from the beginning it just why oh my goodness it i again this this is going to come off as a very unpopular opinion could care less my favorite arcs, although they're very close, so it could go either ways depending on the day you ask me. Thousand Year Blood War arc, then the Arankar Saga, then Soul Society, then Full Bring, and then the first arc in Bleach. Now, I know the Thousand Year Blood War one is going to be the unpopular one, but hopefully my perspective on it can make some sense. For me, overall, the mysteries, the plot twists, the fights, for me, were at their best in Thousand Year Blood War arc. I loved it completely and in the later half of thousand year blood war they really get into the thematics of what bleach is about and it's beautiful there's a quote from one of the characters later on jugo which kind of more so applies to himself but really fit the grand scheme of bleach and i think ichigo as well and quote all of us walk on a balance we move forward as we weigh all that we encounter in life on a balance we sort what is right and what is wrong for ourselves the sorted pieces right and wrong piled on top of one another give us form that is who we are. And I think the real reason, despite all of what I said, as to why I was able to enjoy the final arc of Bleach probably more than I think most people would have expected is because the amount of people that told me Bleach's ending was terrible, like the worst ending ever. And look, I know people tend to be very exaggerative when it comes to this stuff, as I think Naruto had its mistakes with its ending. Do I think it's the worst ending ever? New. No. But like with Bleach, I felt satisfied with it. I felt like all of the characters, despite there being like this time skip in the end, it was a time skip that didn't just randomly throw out these new characters. No, it was a time skip that wrapped up the characters in a way that I felt satisfied with. And I overall really enjoyed it. So I think because the expectation of it was set so low for me, it just exceeded it by a lot. So yes, I do think Bleach has its negatives at times. It can feel a bit formulaic. There, you might say Ichigo's a boring character. There are some stretches that also kind of lose interest in midst of all the chaos. For example, in the Arankar Saga, you have the Priveron Espada fights, which aren't even all that bad. They're just a little boring in comparison to the rest of the amazing fights you have in the Arankar Saga. By the way, the transformations in Bleach, I absolutely adore them and the system the power system in Bleach and the way that, that that was handled, I, oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Like any series, you can give it criticism, but for me, Bleach's good outweighed the bad by so much. I just don't see where the hate from it comes from. It has some of my favorite stretches in all of Shonen. Most people think Soul Society is one of the best arcs in Shonen. I think Aronkar and Thousand Year Blood War arc are better than Soul Society. So for me, it has three of my favorite arcs in all of Shonen. As some of my favorite characters in all of Shonen, with Kenpachi, Ulkiora, Aizen, Shinsui's really cool, Urahara's really cool. Like, it has some of my favorite characters, it has some of my favorite stretches, fights, art style, even antagonists. Like, when it comes to a manga, a battle shonen manga, 
I genuinely believe that Bleach is probably my favorite example of a battle shonen. Now, I know there's going to be plenty of people who disagree with me on some of the things that I said throughout this video, but again, this isn't no, oh, this series is better than yours, I'm superior. No, just I really enjoyed, at the bare minimum, Bleach was super enjoyable, and if there hasn't been people who've tried it out, which, trust me, I know it's probably little because Bleach is one of the highest selling manga of all time, rightfully so, I try it out. Because I think it's going to be at the bare minimum of series with at least plenty of things to inspire you as an artist or maybe even an author. Uh, this was the main inspiration for JJK and it's pretty prevalent and well I can now see why. Bleach is just, I think it's great. It's a series that took something that I could have never seen the amount of vastness and potential in it that Kubo then adds to it. Each of the manga in the big three is responsible for putting many of us on to anime and manga. And then there's also Dragon Ball, right? But this notion that Bleach is like miles below Naruto or One Piece for me is just completely ridiculous. It has its own strengths that personally I love and enjoy a lot.